我爱中医。我爱中医。J'aime la médecine traditionnelle chinoise. Ich liebe TCM. Seretem. A hagyományos kínai orvoslást. Man alaqe ziyadi be tepe sonati chini va tepe suzani dara. Haram bariye China va ipiye murakalay mihavum birbhete. I love Chinese medicine. The guest we interviewed today is Professor Wu Binjiang, President of the Ontario College of Traditional Chinese Medicine in Canada. What are the key points for learning and inheriting TCM acupuncture? TCM acupuncture is a discipline that combines knowledge and technology. Books are the carrier of knowledge, and the tutor or master is the carrier of technology. TCM acupuncture and Tuina techniques are all artistic models of close integration of knowledge and technology. For example, martial arts is a typical example of the combination of knowledge and technique. We have not seen any friend who bought a martial arts book in a bookstore and became a martial artist by practicing according to the book. The key to the inheritance of the intangible cultural heritage of TCM acupuncture is the inheritance of manipulative techniques. Any manipulative technique must first be practiced with basic skills under the condition of a mastering theories and laws. It can be obtained by a famous teacher who can learn and practice hard. The shortcut of skills depends on the guidance of famous teachers, and face-to-face -face teaching by famous teachers is a shortcut for those who succeed. In teaching, although it can understand the skills, it does take time. The seemingly simple movement skills include the technical crystallization of hard work of several generations, and maybe the summary of hundreds of years of wrong experience. Maybe there's a genius, but for the vast majority of art learners, the intelligence should be about the same. Only relying on their own insights should redirect the mistakes of the predecessors. And the guidance of a famous teacher can save lots of time for art learners and extend their artistic life. The iron law in traditional crafts and techniques is to make great apprentices by famous teachers. Hi, Dylan. Can you let us know how did you start learning TCM and acupuncture? I started to be interested in traditional Chinese medicine and. Chinese culture at a young age. I uh, read the Tao Te Ching, and uh, then I, as a teenager, I started studying martial arts. I studied uh, Ba Gua Zhang and Tai Chi Chuan. And uh, as a late teen, I was, I was getting more interested what to do, and so I, it was a natural progression for me to start to look into traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture from there. At the time, I was living in the U.S. and I was looking for a good place to study. I was looking at New York, and what I found was Canada had a, a very rich culture of uh, Chinese medicine and a very, very culturally diverse place to learn, and excellent practitioners and teachers here. And so I uh, moved as close as I could to Canada, uh, Buffalo, New York. And I, I drove for, uh, from, from the U.S. to Canada every day for school for two years before I immigrated here. And uh, then I, I immigrated here and continued my training under Professor Wu uh, and uh, did some study at Funan, uh, where, I, where I did the bachelor and master's degree uh, for traditional Chinese medicine there. I know you have been practicing Chinese Kung Fu. Can you show us a little bit?
If you like our video, please subscribe, press like, and share. See you next time.